Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is a video after a few months. I apologize. I have, I've lied to you guys. I have not been posting every week like I said I would. It's been about two months almost. You can see I'm getting the old beard, getting a little lazy out here that I am. So it's, I want to go ahead and put together probably five or six videos here in the next couple days for you guys. Hopefully I can because I can't seem to keep my word. <laughs> but we're going to try to do what we can. So today's video is about my house. I finally got out of that studio apartment that you guys saw originally. I am now living in a four story, two bedroom, and open roof house. Very nice. I'm paying seven million for everything. So it comes out to what, two, four, six. I think I pay like about 350 US total for what I'm about to show you, which is a huge deal. Something in the US like this would. I mean, it is a little small, I guess, but it would run about 900 to $1,200 a month. So you can see the difference of costs. The way I'm living out here is, is more essentially richer than most people do. And saying I have a lot of bills, this might not be the smartest move, but I make a lot of money. I do have another video that I'm going to be doing here soon where I'm going to talk about employment in Vietnam. And I want to make this very clear, and I see this a lot in videos. You don't need a bachelor's degree to work in Vietnam. There are a lot of workarounds around this. I've had commenters come after me saying, oh, I dare you to go to the embassy and try to get a visa, yada, yada. It's not about the visa. It's about working legally. And working in Vietnam legally is very easy. There, there's three routes to go. One, tourist visa, you just go, you jump countries, come back. Yeah, yeah, illegal, I admit. You can get work and get a lot of work. I know a lot of people that do it, and it is illegal. But a lot of places don't give a shit. And the authorities, police, and the government will just take a bribe to be happy. The second version is a business visa, which is what I'm doing because my bachelor's is still about six months shy. And I'm finishing it up because I've decided in about 11 months I'm moving to Tokyo. And I'm going to kick it out there for a year. So you have, there's no way around Japan to bullshit the system. So you got to have the degree. And I'm only what, five classes shy. So I said, eh, I might as well just do them online. Why not? And I'm getting a lot of military grants. So I don't really pay for it. So that, that's, that's another video we'll talk about later. So what about the house? Show us, David. Woo! So, so starting off in my house, you can see here, let's try to get a better view here, is there's the bike. That is still the original bike, you might be asking. This is more of the living room. We're walking over here to the kitchen. You see I got a fridge here. And I got some of the basic amenities, nothing too important. I got to keep that up there as part of the owner's agreement, so there it is, some extra shit. I did go and buy a washer, so I got my own washer. I paid, yeah, and a bathroom. I paid about two hundred dollars for the washer. Super cheap. Again, something like that in the states is about three to five hundred. Well, probably like four to six hundred. And you can see this is kind of the main living room here. Uh, I use it for parking. I didn't buy a table for eating or anything. I kind of just eat in my office or somewhere, or I eat out. Me going out has been a challenge lately, but <laughs> it's kind of what I do. I do have surround sound down here, but again, it's not something I take advantage of. And then the extra fridge. So why don't we head up? So going up to the first floor, this is going to be the bedroom. The bedroom is where I stay, and it's oops, and it's kind of a funny story. The bedroom I got a king size bed because you know I'm just an American guy that likes big shit. And when it comes to big shit, I just gotta have it. Now the problem with this, and if you can see the stairwell, you can get a good angle there. You can kind of see the problem's going to be here with the bed that I'm about to show you. Go so ahead and check out the bedroom. So. Over here, we have the bathroom. Every room has a bathroom, which I, I, I absolutely love. This is the bed. I got the sheets getting clean and whatnot. I got a king size bed. You can kind of see the difference in here. The stairwell ends right about there. So this bed is twice, like 2.5 times wider than the stairwell, which was a problem altogether. And you see over here, I got my little dresser thing. Kind of just hanging up clothes, you can see it in a fan. My beautiful table. Uh, and we do have two windows. You can see, neighbor's house is really close, unfortunately. And this one, looks like they're out there just doing kind of stuff. And I'll do a tour of the outside later. And this is the main bedroom. So we're gonna go up yet another flight of stairs. And this is gonna take me to the office. The office is where I do a lot of my video editing, I do work for school, I do my lesson planning, or I just kind of hang out, per se. So once again, same layout. Another bathroom. It's, it's not sh like too convenient, per se. This is more just like the extra. 
And this is my office. I got my computer monitor going, my Wi-Fi. The internet out here, I must say, is nice. I'm, pay, I'm getting 32 megabytes up and down, and I'm paying, I pay two million for seven months, and I'm paying about 400,000 a month after that, which is ridiculous. I mean, the pay, what, like $12, $13 a month for something that intense is pretty cool. So I got a, I got a big old 40 inch TV, that's my monitor. Another fridge, so when I'm working up here, I got you know I got food, extra beer, stuff like that. And you see, yet again, another window. And the lamps are about the same. If you look down, you can kind of see the laundry again. And yes, before you ask, every house pretty much has bars. Just due to theft. Theft isn't too bad out here, but it does have its moments. So everyone just is a little prepared. You see, I got a small window there, and it's barred too. So we're going up to the final flight here. These stairs are a bit steep, so if you see the camera roll back, call the doctor. Because I'm in trouble. So as we go up to the next room, this is the final floor. This is where I did my laundry. I just brought this in because it was raining earlier. I got a little vending thing here, so if I decide to start selling some vending me, I can make my own stand. And then just boxes and shit from everything. This is the cool part, guys. This is the outside. So this is my roof. So as you can see, this is the top part of my house. I got a nice view. I got one of the higher houses, which is really cool. So I can see a lot of everything. This area is very, very dense with buildings, as you can see. But it definitely has its coolness. And again, I'm just paying right about 350 for everything. Which is a huge, huge cut in price compared to what you would pay, let's say, let's say that you pay like in the States or somewhere like that. Um, I did get a nice deal. The lady was, actually is from Hanoi and she came down here just to try to sell it and we offered to rent it and she was happy. She's like, cool. I can go back home for a year and then come back and figure it out later, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my house. This is where David lives. So please hit the like button, leave your comments, let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is an upgrade video. So my original house, I paid five million a month plus, uh, I guess like six after everything's said and done. And I had a studio apartment that was really small, really loud. I mean, if you saw my videos, I was always kind of complaining about it. And I had the, the security guys were always getting me in trouble because I'd have random people come over me like friends or TAs and stuff come over so we can work. And they would always instigate like, oh, all these girls come over and it was more like they actually work with me, man. It's not a sexual thing. And it, it just created so many fights. Like it literally created fights. So I can't do that. I couldn't do that. And here we are now. People come over whenever. We get work done. They go home. I don't have people ask me, oh man, you're such a player, you know. So I know this sounds stupid, but it, it was really an annoying thing. You know. So it was, it was almost like living with my mom again. Who are these girls? <laughs> so Again, hopefully you like it. This is an upgrade from there. I'm paying an extra two to three, about two million a month. And I have all this to myself. And I love it. Excessively love it. So the next video I'm be going over is going to be about work. I want to really clear it up. I see a lot of videos online where people are like, oh, you can't work in Vietnam without this or that, or these are the complications, or you have to make this, or these are how you negotiate. Vietnam is really easy to get jobs. And right now I'm making about 70 million a month. Uh, I work a lot. Do not get me wrong. This is my free time right now. This is the only free time I have. And I'm using it to make videos for you guys. But I want to put something together where you guys can see exactly how the work is out here. So thanks for watching. I will see you again. Enjoy your day. I guess for you guys it's night. But for me it's a day. So I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.